Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone and you're watching Cooking Stone. In today's episode, I'm gonna make a homemade horchata. Not just any kind of horchata, it's actually a horchata that's made with almond milk and not store-bought almond milk, I'm gonna make the almond milk myself. And it's also vegan. Now I know that seems weird, like isn't all horchata vegan because it's a rice milk based drink, but that is actually not true. And you can't assume that horchata that you get from a taqueria is actually vegan. So if you are vegan, you might wanna check. If you're not vegan, you don't have to freaking worry about it. So, um, and I also want to note out that this particular recipe is going out to Night Skies, who had requested a horchata recipe. He or she, I don't really know because there was no name on the profile. So, Night Skies, this one's for you. So, to make this horchata, there's a few things that we need to do. First thing is we need to grind up some long grain rice, and that's actually going to be used to kind of give the horchata its sort of creamy, kind of sweet, subtle flavor. You don't want to necessarily pulverize it so it's just powder, but you want you want to chop it up pretty quickly. So you can uh, see, here's the comparison between the original long grain rice and the stuff that I ground up in the food processor. The next thing you want to do is blanch the almonds. So get raw almonds and drop them in a pot of boiling water. And then when they start to float to the top, take them out, rinse them, and then we're going to peel them. They're pretty easy to peel, like you just can kind of pinch them and you know the skin will pop right off once you blanch them. Once you've done that, we're then going to soak both the almonds and the rice and some cinnamon sticks in hot water. So let's add our cinnamon sticks to a jar. We're gonna add in our ground up rice. And if you're, hopefully you have better aim than I do. And now we're gonna add in the blanched almonds that we peeled. And water. And we're gonna let this soak overnight. Now keep in mind, this full recipe will be in the show notes, so if you don't know what I'm doing or it seems confusing, well, it's you, not me. So uh, now we're gonna actually grind the almonds and the rice and the cinnamon sticks and everything um, in small batches. Just add that to the food processor. Fresh vegan almond milk horchata.